If your sump pump is on but not moving any liquid, it may be airlocked. In this video, I'm going to be going over what airlocking is and how to prevent it. This is my sump pump. It's an electrical motor mounted to an impeller and casing or housing. Think of an impeller as a fan for water. The impeller inside the casing moves water like a fan moves air. The liquid being moved is contained by the casing and the piping coming out of the discharge end. Air locking is fairly common with bottom intake designed pumps and that is where the medium being pumped is sucked in through the bottom. Some pumps compensate for this with a relief hole built into the impeller casing. However, because that hole can easily become clogged, the best place for it is in the discharge piping above the impeller casing and below the check valve. So although your pump may have a hole in the impeller casing and you can temporarily clear up any air locking issues by finding that hole and simply cleaning it out, I would recommend installing a pipe with the weep hole like we are going to do in this video. To simulate an air locked pump, think of a sealed container upside down in a body of water. This container will represent our impeller casing. Without a relief hole, the air has nowhere to go and becomes trapped. With air trapped in the impeller casing, the pump cannot move any water through it. This often happens when a pump is initially placed in a full sump or even a dry sump that is filled up quickly. No relief hole? Relief hole. I've already gone to Home Depot and purchased what I need to make this happen. I'm going to be removing the check valve I mounted to the impeller casing. I've got a fitting to connect my pipe to the casing. I've got my two inch pipe. And then I've got a new fitting that I can reconnect my check valve to because the check valve is very important. Got to have a check valve to prevent the water from coming back down the pipe that you've been trying to pump out. So say in the sump, the level has gone down to the level that it wants to be at and then stops. If you don't have a check valve, all of that water just comes rushing back down the pipe and fills up your sump again. So let's get started. This is my check valve and all it is, you probably can't see it in there very well. Let me get a flashlight. A little flapper in there that's it and it goes one way so this is on the discharge end of the pump right here there's a flapper and it's gonna go that way only water tries to come down this way flapper does not go down holds the water in place or whatever you're trying to pump out as with any old mechanical stuff that you take apart, you're always gonna wanna clean it real good before you put it back together. And you always wanna use the appropriate brush as well. We've got a plastic housing. I do not wanna use my metal brush. I'll stick with the plastic one. A metal brush might tear up those threads and uh, then the whole thing's garbage. So I've got my ABS fittings and pipe that we're gonna need for this project. Let's get them glued together. You know what, before I glue on those fittings, I'm gonna drill my weep hole in this pipe first because if I mess that up, I will have to buy new pipe and new fittings. So for this part, you're going to need a 3 16th inch drill bit and your drill. You gotta let the kids play around while you're doing stuff like this.
Before drilling your hole, you're going to want to make sure that your weep hole is below the floor line. The last thing you want is for when that pump to kick on, water to be spraying all over the floor. I've already measured my pipe. You want to be in this? Okay. And, oh my. <laughs> I've already measured my pipe and marked where my hole needs to be so it is below the floor line. Drilling straight down will get your bit in so it doesn't walk on you. And then you can angle it more at a 45 degree angle. So I've got my hole drilled, angled down. And you're gonna wanna make sure when you uh, glue on your fittings, that is going to be your orientation. I'm kind of fast. Right? Oh, and it's black. Ready? You gotta do the outside of here. It's really it. Oh, that's okay. Good coverage, right? Here. Beyond. This might not. So now that I have my pipe and fittings glued together, I'm going to reattach my check valve and get it back on the pump. Hopefully you got some good information from this video. Let me know in the comments what kind of issues you've been having and maybe myself or someone else watching can help clear it up for you.